Oh, hi there, and welcome to the Blurk Sick Podcast. I'm so glad you could join me today. I'm your host, Frank. Yeah, that's it. And with me today is lovely Sam. Say hi, Sam. Hi. How's it going? Oh, good. How are you? We just had a pretty good conversation off air about hunting and shit that she said we should mention again. Now... What I think I wanted to break down is how we even know each other. I don't know if we got into that before, but a brief history about that is she's married to Jimmy, who's my cousin, but not really my cousin, if you really break it down. His, not really, but you guys all pretend. Pretend like we're related. See, my dad and Jimmy's dad... Our best friends. Our best friends and grew up together. And so I only ever knew him as my Uncle Dave and them as my cousins. But technically... We're not blood related. Technically. Technically. But what you, I guess the point to know is we were talking about hunting and stuff because both of our families were rooted in that. At least my dad has always been very outdoorsy, very hunter friendly, like shooting bows and guns. And Sam was telling me that she was interested in hunting. My family growing up was not interested in the outdoors, hunting, camping, fishing, nothing. So... Dave has helped me, you know, learn how to shoot a bow, and I shot a gun for the first time last year with Jimmy and his brother Joe, and so that was fun. Yeah. So now I need to get the hunter safety course so I can go hunt a deer, and go bow hunting with Dave. Which both are Dave and my dad. Uh, they do a youth hunter safety course. They're all into that stuff. Oh yeah. So we were talking last night at the campfire. Um, about field dressing a deer and me knowing nothing about anything to do with hunting. Oh my God. I had no idea that I could do that. that She was telling me that I really want to go hunting. I would really love to kill a deer. I'm like, yeah, that's great and all, but say you kill a deer. How's field dressing the deer going to go? And she was not aware (laughs) that once you kill a deer in the woods, in the wild, the first thing that you're supposed to do is take out its guts and insides so it doesn't rot. Right, because those things spoil first. Yeah. You just want the meat. Obviously, you're going to save maybe the heart or the liver you can eat later, but you got to get rid of those intestines. You don't want those. So I told Dave that I would shoot the deer, and he would field dress it, and he laughed at me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't get out of it. That's like the hardest part. That's like, you can't not do that. So now I'm going to have to cut open a deer and gut it. If I want to go hunting. That's crazy. Though. I've never done that myself. I've been hunting a couple times when I was really, really young. And uh, I've watched videos on how to field dress a deer. But, uh, oh, actually, you know, there was one time where I did watch my dad do it. He had shot and killed a deer by luck. And then we went out there and I was like holding a flashlight or something. As he was like field dressing, gutting this deer. It was, a, it was 15 years ago. I was really young. I barely remember it. But. Pretty gross, and I, being very manly, obviously. Not, not very. Pretty manly. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'd even have a very comfortable time doing that myself. So I mean, I don't blame you, Sam, for feeling that way. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure how it's gonna go. I might puke. I might be okay. But if I want to hunt, then I gotta do it. So man up, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't even think you have to say man up, but I mean, it's part of the whole process that you just—it's the gross part, though. Yeah, but I really love venison, so. And I really want to kill a deer and take it home and eat it and be like, yeah, I caught this shit. I did this myself. This is mine. I made it. Yeah. So excited. That's that's pretty amazing. I think it helps you feel more one with nature, too, doesn't it? Something like that? Get your roots back? I mean, that's where we all came from initially. We never used to live in buildings with (laughs) AC and the internet 24-7. Yeah. No, I like being out in the woods. I like going camping and... And hopefully I enjoy hunting. My worry is that I'm going to get bored because you got to sit in a tree stand for hours upon hours. Oh, my God. One time I was hunting. Again, when I was much younger. I was in a tree stand with my dad. I think it was muzzleloader season. And I had a Game Boy Color. And I got bored pretty quick and just started playing the game. And then, lo and behold, a fucking deer walked out. And I wasn't paying attention. And my dad popped off a shot. And he's like, didn't you see it? And I'm like, I've seen it run away after you missed. <laughs> I always tell Jimmy that I have the eye of a hunter. 
because we'll be driving down the road and I'm like, oh, there's deer. Oh, there's deer. And he's like, oh, I didn't see it. I'm like, yeah. I got the eye of a hunter. I was made for this shit. I just haven't done it yet. Yeah. My eyes look like that, except I drive along the road and be like, did you see that ass? Did you? <laughs> <laughs> different focuses. <laughs> yeah, different focuses. Yeah, some of those deer. I also focus for cops really bad. I think a lot of people do that nowadays because yeah. all they do is give you tickets. What the fuck? I know. I seen some, uh, the last time I seen some deer, they were near the, uh, they were near, was it 90? They were hanging out. Maybe I was on 44, going towards Paninis. Mm. And they were hanging out on the side of the road. There's like three of them looking across. I'm like, oh, you bet. Oh, don't you dare. <laughs> don't you dare. And I'm doing like 60 and I'm like letting off the gas because I see them. And I'm like, oh, if you, if you better not because I just got a new car. Yeah. No, Dave was driving home from work one night and he works second shift so he doesn't drive home till like midnight and was on his motorcycle and two deer were on the freeway and he almost wrecked he was like the deer head was like six inches away from his tire when he Ooh, passed it God, on a motorcycle that yeah he had to slow down to 35 and that was like as quick as he could slow down you know by the time he saw it he almost killed himself oh, damn. speaking of new cars so, my sister, she got a new car. Yes, you said that. <laughs> and she wrecked it. Her, like, third day having it, or fourth day having it. That is just, that is just awful. That's With like a motorcycle. The worst case scenario. Yeah. Luckily, she had coverage, you know, and so she was able to get a new car. It was, you know, and that everybody was okay. Nobody was hurt in the accident. So, you know, no harm, no foul. But. That sucks. That sucks. <laughs> That's crazy, because I actually, um. The other night, I had a dream, and in the dream, like I, uh, uh, there was a machine or something, a forklift, and it flipped a thing and it hit my car. I'm like, are you kidding me? This what? Thing's brand new. It was in my dream. It was oh, my dream. it was in your dream. Okay. It was in my dream. <laughs> something into your car. It was in car. my dream. And then another part of the dream, actually, it was Logan was in it. I don't know why, but he got. Logan me. is Jimmy's and mine's five-year-old son. Yes. FYI. Continue. So and Logan was in the car. Yeah. He wasn't in my car. He was in a different car. And he was, he was, I don't know, he was acting out. I'm like, why are you acting like this? You need to calm down, kid. And then he gets in this other car and he like reverses it right into my car. Aww. I don't, what, is, what does that mean? Am I worried that this new car is going to get wrecked? That's terrible. So we were at camp today for the picnic and um, everybody was getting ready to leave and Joe let Bradley drive the drive you know and logan's like oh, why is brad in the driver's seat and i'm like i don't know you're not doing it can i do it no Ooh. no <laughs> no you cannot <laughs> logan has this thing because michelle which is jimmy's mom tells him all the time you know two hands on the wheel two hands on the wheel well, I drive a stick shift, so I very rarely have two hands on the wheel because usually my other hand is on the shifter. And so he constantly in the car asked me, Mom, do you have both hands on the wheel? Mom, are you watching the road? Mom, do you have both hands on the wheel? I'm like, no, I have one hand on the wheel. Don't worry, everything's fine. I just need two hands to drive. I use two feet instead of one because I have three pedals instead of two. And he like gets so confused. Yeah, I'm confused. Manual drive, how do you do that? Who would wants to do that anyways? It's fun. Okay. What do you mean? Fast and the Furious makes it look fun. They're always shifting and going faster. Uh-huh. It's also much better on your car. Is it? Yes. So your transmission will last longer versus an automatic. You will have to get the clutch replaced. Um, but... I don't know when that, I haven't had to get mine replaced yet. Mine's still good. But yeah, I enjoy it. And it's just, I don't know. I, no, okay. I feel really weird driving an automatic. I've driven a manual car for years. Yeah, some people just like it better. It's, I do. They like the boat more feeling. It's more of a classic. Like, I don't know, you're like in control more. Yeah, you're definitely in control more. And it helps with snow if you start. Um, Sliding or anything, you know, it, it, you can control it better. The only negative is that there is a little bit more torque in the snow, like especially if you're going on a hill. 
and that sucks. Hills kind of, you know, big hills and icy roads, that sucks. Well, I think it sucks for everybody. Yeah. My, speaking of road trips, did you know my mom and dad are going on a road trip? Uh-huh. On their motorcycle. Uh-huh. All the way down from Ohio, the top of Ohio, by Lake Erie, all the way down to Atlanta, I think they're going. Yeah, yeah, they're going to North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and somewhere else. They were going to four different, and Tennessee. Yeah. So they're going for the week. They'll be back next Saturday, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're going to be gone all week. Today is a Saturday. Mm-hmm. And they're leaving tomorrow. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Safe travels. Hmm. So let's get into what story I have. I don't know if you've oh. heard about this. Okay. But speaking of traveling. Oh, just FYI. So Frank puts his little notes together on what we're going to talk about, but he refuses to tell me what we're going to talk about until we're actually on the microphone talking. That's it drives me crazy because he already has that, an idea of what he's talking about and has like what he's going to say, and I have to think about it on, on the spot. She, you know, you're gonna, you're, that's just your job right now. You're just to help me along. You <laughs> look good. That's what you're supposed to do. You're just not in agree with everything I have to say. That's not who I am. <laughs> that's what you're do. <laughs> if I pre opt and we have the conversation about it before, most of the time she's over it by the time I want to talk about it again. She's like, yep, yeah, move on, heard it, go. Like in a real like, I'm in control of this right now attitude. If you look at the old other videos that we did, the Pursuit of Excellence ones I won, every single time. I Not every it, time. No, it was like every time. No, it before. was like the first couple. Okay, so I had a I I struggled a little bit at the beginning to let you be in 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 charge of the conversation. Hey, maybe you did. I just maybe you're better now. I am. I don't know. I am. Doesn't matter. Is anyone even out there? Hello? <laughs> it's like the the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. The probes that we sent in space back in the early days of... Are you picking your nose? <laughs> oh, I'm itching my nose. It's on the top. <laughs> it's, uh... Can you see my fingers now? Yeah. They're not in my nose. I don't know why you're still doing this. Because <laughs> it itches. Is it done? <laughs> Stop staring at it. So my broadcasts are just like the broadcasts from the Voyager One and Voyager Two that are drifting Broadcast. out there. In, yeah, that are drifting out there in space right now. Yeah. Maybe in a million years it'd be picked up by ancient alien technology, but right now it's just whatever. Do you believe in aliens? In a certain way, I'd say there's probably other life out there. Talking about aliens, UFOs visiting our planet, no. So you believe in aliens, just not the typical, like, big head, skinny, weird looking things with the big eyes that are going to attack the planet? Yeah. Type of thing? Yeah, that's that's not on my list of things I believe in. Mm. Is there probably other life forms on different planets? Absolutely. Do you see the stars in the sky? Mm -hmm. There's so many. There's like lots of that are similar to our sun yeah. that could potentially have an Earth-like planet. And there's most likely other things going on just like they are right now. It's just not practical to travel that far of a distance in space. Wouldn't it be so cool if it was practical, though? If you could, like, go to other galaxies? I mean, maybe. That would be awesome. If you could put... Uh, like, in instead like... of, like, hey, where are you going this summer for vacation? Oh, I'm going to Hawaii. Oh, that sucks for you. I'm going to the next galaxy over. Ha ha. Going to Nebula 37. <laughs> or whatever. That'd be so cool. It could be cool. But that's complicated. That's just not practical. Maybe not yet, but eventually maybe it would be. Pretty fucking awesome. It could be. Speaking of, oh, oh this is an awesome, this is a sad story oh. about travelers. <clears throat> There was this couple. There was a cyclist. Have you heard about this? A cyclist killed by ISIS in Tajikistan? In where? Tajikistan? I don't think that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. Oh, God. I'm probably messing this up, aren't I? Hold on. Hold on. There were just two cyclists. They're American. And the couple. And they decided to uh, quit their jobs and traveled the world by bicycle 
Well, that sounds interesting. Big gap, big gap. A dream ended on a mountain road. The cyclists and ISIS militants. This is from the New York Times. They quit their jobs and set off on a biking journey around the world. A young American copper <clears throat> offered a simple explanation. They had grown tired of meetings and telephone conferences of the time. So, so base, they basically says, got killed by ISIS. What does it say? Southwest Tajikistan? Do you see what I'm looking at? Takistan? Takistan? Takistan. If Jimmy was here, he would know. You think? Yeah. He was in all those countries. Anyways, don't go biking in those places, people. What the fuck is your problem? Not that it's right. They shouldn't have been killed. What's crazy about that is that they got away with it. They were biking in a group. There was four of them biking in a group. They were biking and sleeping in tents and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they were biking on their way through the road, and this van passed them. And then the van did a 180, 360, and then ran them the fuck over. Oh, my gosh. And then they made a video claiming that they did it and they worked for ISIS. And it said that all non-believers would be killed. That's crazy. That is crazy. And the craziest part is that they're not going to get arrested or anything. They're still out there doing whatever the fuck they're doing. <laughs> Go ahead. Continue. I don't... Um, so that's horrible. That, that, it, that is horrible. So, talking about traveling, I really want to travel. And I want to go to a bunch of different countries. And I want to go do different things. And You want to bike? No, I don't. I don't want to bike. That would be pretty But I hard. do want to backpack across your... Especially Europe. maybe on your backside. If you're biking for hundreds of miles, yeah, I kind of get a little uncomfortable. I'm sure. My other main question is, how hairy was that chick's legs? If you're sleeping in tents and biking, you don't have much time for that, do you? Really? <laughs> that's what you're worried about? That is kind of what I was They were probably about. hairy. Deal with it. God, that's awful. It happens. I bet they also had wicked, um, I don't know, sunburn slash windburn. After my pants come back from a motorcycle trip, you can just tell their faces look way leathery. Really? From sun and just the wind. Yeah, but they're biking, right? On bicycles or were they on motorcycles? They're on motorcycles. Oh. I know your parents are. I meant the people. These ones were on bicycles. Yeah, so they're, they wouldn't have that. They might have the sun, but the wind's not going to be... I mean, they can't drive oh that God. fast on a bicycle. Yeah, but they're not wearing a full face helmet. They're going to get a little bit of windburn if they're biking for hundreds of miles. Yeah, but not as much. Not only that, but who decides to do that? Like, you bike around America all you want. I, I mean, maybe Europe, but let's stay out of those other weird countries. I wouldn't mind going to any country. I think that it would be a fun experience. No, it, it probably would be a fun experience. but And uh, maybe they weren't visiting anywhere in that specific area, but they were just passing through. I'm sure they were passing through. Like, Jimmy's been to Egypt, and I totally want to go to Egypt. To see the pyramids? To see the pyramids, yes. And Australia, and Ireland, and Ireland. Iceland. I can get behind Ireland and Iceland. Yeah. And Africa. Africa, New Zealand. New Zealand. He won't go to Africa. I don't know about Africa. He yeah. won't go to Australia. No, Australia could be good. Why not Australia? Because uh, it's... They're in war or something there. I don't know. He's, I think Australia would be fine. He's paranoid. Yeah. Japan, maybe? Yeah, see, I'm not really too... I, I would be fine going to Japan or China or, you know... Not Russia, though. Should probably stay away from Russia. I want to go to more of, like, southern. You'd probably go to India. Yeah. I don't know. I've heard, you know, I mean... Japan's just loaded with people. It's packed. I don't. I think that would be too much for me. Like the population's outrageous. Certain parts, certain cities, it's it is outrageous. Yeah. I think they still have some countryside where people farm and stuff. I don't know. 
Um, Plus, I, I, you know, I think it's so cool now that they have the phone where you can get the app where it'll like translate it. Do you know that? Does that work? I don't know. I mean, I've seen things on it. I have no idea what it's actually. What would your phone plan have to be to work like that? Can you get it's an app? International service. Yeah, it's an app, but you still got to stream through Verizon or whatever. Could you do that in the middle of Japan? Yeah, but you're not getting on the internet to do it. It's just, it's an app. You sure the app... I don't think you would need to get on the internet. I don't know. That's a good question. Well, it would be a big download to be able to translate. They'd have to have their, like, an entire encyclopedia. Like, it's got to be connected to the internet. I'm sure there's a lot of things it can't say. You have to use your data. I'm saying... What's a plan like that where you can use the data in a different country? I don't know. Is that way more expensive? Probably. You could probably just get a hotspot, though. Maybe. I don't know how that would work. They were saying that this couple was uploading to, uh, like, Instagram or whatever, like, keeping a vlog or whatever. Yeah. So I just don't know what kind of plan you'd have to have on your phone to do something like that. And how the fuck do you even afford to just travel the country like that? Did they sell their house? Oh, I know, right? I have no idea how people like afford to just like, oh, I'm going to quit my job and I'm going to go explore the quit? world. That's my main question. Do they quit their job and sell their house? Like, that's what they had to have done, Well, right? even that, I mean, if you sell your house, chances are you're not making a whole lot of money on yeah, it unless you've been there for a long time. You're getting the full value. You're getting at least 25% because the rest goes back to the bank, right? Right, yeah, it goes to the bank, it goes to the realtors, it goes to the inspections, and that just depends on how much you owe on the house. Exactly. You know, so if you only had the house for five years, you're not really getting much out of it, especially if you didn't put down a down payment. I mean, some people put like 5% down or 20% down, and you know, I'm sure that would help, but yeah. It's just crazy. I mean, if we sold our house, we would probably lose money. We would probably owe 20 grand to sell our house. Oh, shit. Well, we just bought our house three years ago. We didn't put money down. Right. Or four years ago. No, I understand where you're coming from. You know? And then it's, yeah, it's 7%, you know, 6 to 7%. So. It was probably the girl's idea to go on that trip, wasn't it? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like you want to travel more than Jimmy, so. Well, Jimmy's also done bad traveling, and I've done good traveling. Oh, right. So. So it would be your fault if you guys died. Yeah. Probably. <gasps> oh, my gosh. So our neighbors. <laughs> what? They travel a lot, or they used to before um, our neighbor, she has MS, and so she... Multiple sclerosis? Yeah. So she struggles with moving around and everything now, obviously. Um, but Is when they were younger... Body, like starts to eat your own joints or whatever? Yeah. So when they were younger, they used to travel a lot, and they went to... Oh, gosh, where did they go? Um, I think it was like the Bahamas or something. I don't, they went to an island, and it was like... Jamaica? There no I don't I don't remember what island, but it was an island and they were on a cruise Panama? and the boat stopped and they wanted to get to this there's um it's like a pirate's house or something. It was like the last pirate and it now it's like a museum or whatever. And it was like his house. Pirates and of the so Caribbean? No, it's not Pirates. Anyways, so they wanted to go see it, but it was on the wrong side of the island. So they hitchhiked across the island and then hitchhiked back. And I was like, yeah, I would totally do that. And Jimmy's like, no, there's no way I would hitchhike. I'm like, why? And, you know, it goes into we're going to get killed and murdered and st- stolen. and you know. I mean, It's kind of your typical horror movie trope, but I guess it can't be that bad places. Yeah. But hitchhiking seems a little scary. I've never done that before. I have. You re- what? <laughs> You're just like getting rides with strangers? Yeah. When? Um, when we were in, uh, South Carolina, actually, we had a flat tire, so some guy stopped on the side of the road to help us, and he took us up to the tire shop, and we got a tire. Hey, that doesn't seem as crazy as... I mean, we didn't, you know, I haven't, like, hitchhiked across a state or anything, but yeah, I've, you know, gotten rides here or there. I've seen hitchhikers, when I went to Montana State University, briefly, people would, uh... You could see people standing outside with signs that wanted to get rides going through yeah. the states, which was pretty crazy. I have never picked up a hitchhiker. Ooh, have you picked up a hitchhiker? <laughs> Anybody out there? Tell me about it. 
I've never picked up, p- picked up a hitchhiker <laughs> either. I'm stumbling. <laughs> yeah, no, like I've thought about it. Um, my problem is that obviously now I wouldn't with Logan because I don't want to put him in danger. Uh, but when I was younger, I had thought about it a few times to stop and pick somebody up, whether it was car trouble or whether they were just trying to get somewhere. I even think about it when they're it's raining and they're walking and I feel like they're walking to work or walking to home or wherever, you know, just right around our town. And I think about picking them up all the time. I'm just terrified too. Like, because you never know what they're going to do and I don't know how well I could defend myself. Yeah, you don't know how well you can defend yourself. Do you know what I'm really outrageous by now, right now? Do you know what would, what do you... I had a thing for this I thought about before, and it's not really coming out like it was supposed to. What? Do you know what the real... LeBron James left Cleveland. What is his deal? That's old news. I know. I made this list a long time ago. Yeah, that's... I was supposed to bring up outrage about LeBron James leaving. It's not outrage. There's no reason that people should be upset about it. Why are you gone? You son of a... It's it's part of the game. It seemed really fun to me when I wrote it down the first time. Because it just happened. Yeah. that's when I wrote it down. But yeah, it's been like a month or two since that was announced that he was leaving. Yeah. I mean, I know people really like him and they're really upset that he's gone, but it's... Yeah, he's a good player, but he's also, you know, got to do what he's got to do. He's not, he makes a shit ton of money, and he wants to make a shit ton more. So whoever's going to pay him, that's where he's going to go. And we should really appreciate that he did give us a championship, so. Yeah, uh, I think athletes get paid way too much. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I would agree. For them to make millions of dollars a year Watching to play mm-hmm. sports, and I get that there's a whole lot behind it. It's not just the game; they well, have practice all the time, and they have to do all this other stuff. But plus shoe deals too. I know he's got like a shoe deal. I know he could probably just retire off doing that. Hell yeah! You know he's gonna be in Space Jam too. I heard rumors. Yeah, yeah. I remember seeing a thing comparing him to uh, obviously Michael Jordan. I know. He's not doing exactly what Michael Jordan did, and it's like, you know, the winning and then going to be in Space Jam. Like, this is weird. Kind of is the same. Yeah. Is he go? Are they making that movie? I think so. Or is this just a rumor? I don't know. I don't know for sure. I think they're making it. I don't know. I I feel like it kind of sucks. Like, people want to say that he's better than Michael Jordan, but... I don't think anybody would ever be better. Yeah, I've seen a lot of things comparing the two, Mm -hmm. and some would argue that Michael Jordan's era were a lot more tougher. Like, they might have thrown a few more elbows or whatever than they are allowed to do Yeah, I don't know. He's just, he's a legend, and LeBron James isn't a legend yet, in my opinion. Like, I don't know. He's good. That's got to suck to try and like meet up to that and like to get there and feel like you just can't. Oh, yeah, totally. It's like his entire life, his entire career has been being compared to Michael Jordan like the entire time. Yeah, yeah. that's got to be tough. Mm-hmm. Like, I, like, just let me do me. Like, come on. And obviously, people have some very unrealistic expectations, you know, and they have very unrealistic views on Michael Jordan. Like, it's, it's like Babe Ruth, you know? This cigar-smoking, alcohol-drinking, woman-abusing, pointing-in-the-outfield, motherfucking steroid-using... What are you talking about? <laughs> talking about Babe Ruth. Jesus. He's a legend. Sure. That's enough sports talk for now. I don't. I'm kind of surprised you brought that up. I yeah, didn't think you were know. even into sports. The point was that it ha- I wrote it down, and it was really funny to me that I was going to keep bringing up the outrage about LeBron James. I was supposed to keep bringing it up throughout the thing, but this was like months ago. Yeah. Are you outraged? <laughs> no, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. He gave us one championship, and it was great, and thank you for that. I That's wish right. Him, I wish him all the best of luck. <laughs> 
There was a meme. Can I talk about a couple memes I really like? Just because I'm a fucking loser. All right. There was one that said, Who died and made you king? And it was the son. He's like, It was my dad. Because, you know, if the king dies, the prince becomes the prince. Yeah, the prince becomes the king. I don't. I don't understand the. Who died and made you king? My dad. Oh, okay. All right, I get it now. It's really sad. Eh. Really... Unless the prince killed the king. Okay. That's not how I imagined it. Have you seen? I, maybe lo- I watched Game of Thrones too much. Yeah, I don't. And watch. and um, oh gosh, what was that movie? Star. Stardust? Stardust? Yeah, that I made you watch with me where all the siblings had to kill each other and the last one standing was the heir. Holy shit, yeah, Do you remember that? Yeah, love that movie. That is a good movie. And yes, they did have to murder each other. Yeah, yeah. Brothers and sisters, they had to kill each other and the last one standing got the kingdom. That's great. That's fucked up. Have you seen the one meme? I, I, I don't know why I thought this was so hilarious at the time. Maybe because I walked to the mall. You ever been to Hollister? Yeah. It's really dark in there. It is. So there was a meme that but there was this guy and he's like, I've been trapped in here for 30 years. Turns on light. Welcome to Hollister. Yeah, you're not doing anything. I know. <laughs> Maybe try it again. This thing, the first one worked the second yeah, time around. This one was stuck in my head for so long. I don't know why. Maybe because I was in a Hollister. I'm like, it's obviously it's it's kind of dark in here. It's so dark. Would, I don't know how you buy things in there. In why would you do this? Whoa, what's this shirtless boy doing? I wonder if their dressing rooms are lit up. I don't know. I don't know, but that meme killed me. It smells like not not bad, but it just like it's so strong, like their cologne or whatever that they spray around it inside. I don't know. What about um? How come every time Drake releases a new song or album, it becomes a meme or an internet thing? I have no idea. I don't listen to Drake. I you haven't no seen the, uh, the Kiki challenge? Is that the one where the people get out of the car and dance? Yes. Oh, my God. I saw one where this guy got out of the car in like a like a thing. Um, you need a better description. Of that. <laughs> um, so the thing where it, like, it only cups the downstairs... And like then a, it's like a thong, and like then it a like jock strap. Yeah, but then it like it has like the shoulder straps. Also like the Borat type thing. Sure. It's like some sort of incredibly like a, tiny bikini. Yeah, like it looks like they're wearing like a thong pulled up to their shoulders. Yeah, Borat wore like a green one. Yeah, he was wearing that and dancing as the car was moving, but he was the driver and got out, and the car was just idling down the road. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it was really fucked up. I seen one where a guy got hit by an oncoming car. I didn't see that one. <laughs> Serves you right, dumbass. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> I hope I love when these memes happen. I like the disaster ones. I don't like. I don't know. I don't get why people get so mad at it. There's a lot of people like. There's the ones that they go along with it. And then obviously there's the opposite where everyone's like, "Why are they doing this stupid shit? Of course you're gonna get hit by a car." I mean, that's what the youth is supposed to do. We're supposed, they're supposed to do dumb stuff. Not that dumb. I mean, really, Tide Pods? How dumb do you have to be to eat a Tide Pod? It was funny. No, the it wasn't. They explodes. died. Only a couple people died. All right, there's millions of people doing a couple of tragedy. It's fine. It's, Did they get rid of moronic. the Tide Pods? No, but they had a right not for eating or not for consumption or something. <laughs> people are dumb. <laughs> people are so dumb. Come on. You but, did, you know, we don't really have a good natural selection We did a anymore. lot of dumb stuff. You yeah, know? so this has to... We have to weed out some morons. That's the best way to do it. Uh, it's not like dinosaurs eating us anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah? there's time pods and whatever challenge. <laughs> Survival of the fittest. There was this girl at the picnic today, and you would have really liked her shorts. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, because they realistically were like underwear like you couldn't even tell she was wearing shorts unless she was standing at a certain angle they were that high half her ass was hanging out the only thing you wouldn't like is that she was fat uh yeah so she was really fat in some little tiny 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 shorts okay that sounds terrible with a belly shirt okay (laughs) 
It was horrible. <laughs> yeah, it was. I mean, props to her for having that kind of confidence, but nope. All right, what you got next on your list? Uh, the capture the moment tattoo. There was a tattoo that people might go, oh, that's great, because it was a, like a video camera where you like take pictures to capture the moment. Mm -hmm. Like a banner with like some flowers. Okay. Like, oh, I capture the moment. That's adorable. But nowadays, that's to me is more like a nightmare because people won't stop taking pictures and they don't live in the moment. Yeah. So nowadays it's like the opposite. Mm -hmm. You don't just put put the camera down, live in the moment. I know, I agree. I actually have a really hard time with that. Like when we were in Texas on vacation, Jimmy was like, "Are you taking pictures? Are you taking pictures?" And I'm like, "Uh, no, sorry. Um, I'll try to take some pictures." <laughs> but I'm really not good at taking pictures, and it kind of stinks. Like you have to have a good mix so you have to take some pictures but you also have to live in there the moment and i kind of do more of the moment and less on the pictures and then i regret that i don't have pictures that's okay i think the moment's supposed to be better and yeah you're right if you can find a good balance of all right if you're on a family vacation different place take a couple mm -hmm. but there are people that push that shit way too far oh yeah and that tattoo just really just there was a whole thing. It was just an image. I'm like, wow, this has got so many different levels to it. It's like maybe in the beginning when fam cameras were first invented, you want to <clears> take <throat> one or two pictures. But people like nowadays are just like click, 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 click. click. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They overdo it. You know what I do regret not having? I mean, I have pictures of our wedding, but I did not get the video of it. And I was like, oh, I don't need that. And I really wish I would have. You never got the video of it? Mm -mm. You had someone record it? No, I didn't. I didn't have a videographer. Oh, okay. So, mm -hmm. like, it wasn't, like, an option. Like... Yeah, no, it was an option when we were planning. And I just figured we didn't really need it. I figured the pictures would be good and we didn't need the video. Like, we weren't going to rewatch the ceremony. But then looking back afterwards, and I was like, man, I really didn't get to see the ceremony. Right, like, yeah. I would have liked to have seen it. it Especially because we were kind of silly. And, you know, reading off the cue cards for each other. And apparently people were laughing, but I didn't realize it because I was in the moment. And when Travis dropped the rings, and that was funny. And <laughs> him fumbling around. But I really don't remember. That would have been funny to rewatch. Yeah. Yeah, the best man dropped the rings. Oh, that son of a... Ooh, I got a Snapchat from Jake. Hopefully it's... Oh, pause. Sorry, because Frankie is on his phone. Shut up. Jake sent me a Snapchat. Is there anything good? Oh, he's jumping into the pond. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. That's somebody that he's with? He just jumped through the fire into the pond. Okay. I just jumped a mini bike off a flaming wooden ramp. Into a pond. <laughs> that was amazing. Talk about dumb ideas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Perfect. Jake's not here, but he knows what's going on. Hmm. Yeah, I told you I texted him, like, uh, but he was at a pig roast, and apparently they're having more fun than we are. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I would not be doing that, even if other people were. Sorry. Right, yeah. I'd watch, I guess. I gave a $4 tip on an $83 pickup order. She was really cute. Do you ever... You did that? Yes. You only gave her $4? It was a pickup order. You think I should have gave her more? Yeah. Did she bring it out to the car? No. No. Oh, I didn't go, go inside? Get it. Yes. Okay. All right. Do you ever do that? Yeah. On a pickup order. Uh-huh. You call in, you say, I'm going to pick it up. You drive there, you walk inside. Yeah. And you, you still tip, tip? Mm-hmm. How much do you normally tip? Mm, depends on what it is, but a couple dollars. Because uh, normally I don't tip. No? No, not unless it's a big order like that. Mm. I gave her 83, it was an $83, but there were like a lot of things to keep 
track of. Yeah, so. I mean, it depends. Like, Applebee's and Chili's and a couple of the other places, they have that curbside pickup, and they bring it out to your car. And that I always tip on. Like, because they bring it out to you. But realistically, like, if the lady at the cash register is checking you out, she probably didn't do anything to get your order ready. It was probably everybody in the back. So, tipping her... It's like, here you go. Good job for watching my bag sit there and giving it to me. You think it's like that? Yeah. I've worked in restaurants. Okay. It's the people in the back get it together. And depending on where you're at, sometimes the people that give it to you get it together. And sometimes they don't. Sometimes they just pick up the bag. But a lot of times they have like, so they have like uh, the cooks and then they have the window where you pick up the food and then they have somebody prepping it and plating everything or putting it in the bags and then when it's ready they just have order up or whatever and you grab the tray and take it out or grab the bag and take it out like so you're saying i shouldn't tip no no i think you should because they make crap they do make crap they do a lot of work for very little pay it's very stressful in a restaurant environment no i always tip the only time I did not tip, and I felt really bad about it, but she did not deserve a tip at all. And it was Olive Garden, and she messed up everything, and Ooh. she only came to our table. She didn't even come to our table besides to give us our food and our check. My drink was empty, like, the whole time. She made my drink wrong. My food was wrong. Everything was wrong. And she wasn't nice, and I was like, you, I, you don't, I'm not even going to, I think I gave her a dollar. And I was like, the worst tip I've ever given. But she was horrible. Yeah, I've had that happen before too. And then, like, even I even had a crisis of something. Like, I do not want to give this motherfucker a tip, but I think I still ended up giving him at least two bucks. Yeah. And I still didn't want to do that because he did a shitty, shitty job. Mm -hmm. I remember sitting there and uh, what was it? What was I eating? I don't remember. But I did not have enough napkins. I, like, I need some more. Don't be so messy. No napkins. It was regular. I wasn't that messy. But Jesus, he did not come back. I know. I hate that. I hate that. They're like, here's your food, and then they're just gone. I just don't care. Just gone. Just done. Don't come back to check how everything is. I still gave. Don't him, come back to see if you need anything. I still gave him two bucks, and he didn't deserve it. I should have given him nothing. What was my like? Half of half of me was like, maybe I should tip him more than I ever would, just to. Maybe he needs it. There, like my, br I had a whole crisis of something in my brain. About yeah. This whole thing. Because normally people, they're pretty decent. Mm-hmm. I typically leave. It's fairly rare that I get someone that's super, super shitty like that. Yeah. And then you gotta wonder, like, I wonder if they they weren't trained. You know, maybe they just have no idea how to do it. Yeah, all those things. Maybe go they're my having head. a terrible day. Yeah, all those things go through my yeah. head. Yeah, that's why I was thinking like maybe I should give him more than he needs because maybe he needs to be brightened up because maybe everything's going to hell for him. Yeah, right? I want to. I want to think the best of people most of the time. I'm not really usually a negative person. Yeah, but sometimes you're just so pissed off and heated that you just like fuck you, guy. No, exactly. <laughs> Some of them, yeah, they don't deserve tips. If you're that bad, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> they gotta learn. Yeah, if you're not making decent tips, it's because you're not a decent server and you should probably find a different line of work. Yeah, I think, you know, everyone I know likes to tip. Everybody's been stiff, though, that's ever worked in service for more than three weeks has probably been stiffed. I've never Because there's people service. that just, you could do everything they ask and do the, the neediest table that needs everything and they'll still not tip. Because yeah, some people was, just don't believe in it. Some people just don't like to tip. Well, you need to realize that these people live mostly off their tips. Yeah. I mean, servers make $3 an hour, $4 an hour. They live off their tips. <laughs> they need tips. I remember um, there was a guy I was hanging out with. I thought he was pretty cool. But then, uh, I don't know what there was. Maybe it was a $24 bill. He gave like a dollar and five cents just to make it even. Aww. And then after that, I was like, oh, God. How, how, you, you don't know, but you just lessened my opinion of you. Yeah. If I'm with somebody and we're, like, splitting the check or something. Like, I was there with him. I seen the server. She came back multiple times. She was great. You're giving him this shit tip? What yeah. the fuck? I give him more if I see somebody else and they're only giving him a couple dollars. And I'm like, no. And I'll just, like, raise mine a couple dollars. 
I God, lost respect. I for feel that. bad. I totally deserve it. I guess he ha he had a, a, a reason because when he wrote it down, I think he felt a little bad. But he's like, I got I got a house payment to make. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe I can understand that a little. Yeah. Bit, but I mean, you know, it sucks. But if you gotta make your bills, you gotta make your bills. You gotta make your bills. You're not supposed to go out to eat like that. True point, but uh, even when you're broke as shit, you still got to do something nice for yourself. Otherwise, you're going to just lose it. Oh, yeah, I can see both, man. I can yeah. see both. But that's when you go and you do a carry out. That way you can leave them a dollar or two and not feel bad. Or not at all. Sometimes I don't leave them at all. Yeah, or not at all. Towards our us, we're not a business. Yeah, we did. I wish I would have gotten up there when everything was like 50% off. Not worth it. They put themselves out of business. I heard lots of people talking that their prices were too high. They were outrageous. They were way too high. It was definitely cheaper to buy shit off. They did not put themselves out of business. What online. put them out of business was online shopping. More people. That's what's doing it to all these stores. Because all these stores want to charge their prices. And then you can go on Amazon and find it $10 cheaper. Or $20 cheaper. It's the way the world's going. Everything's going to be online. Yeah, I think you can order groceries online now. Yeah. We do the Walmart pickup. You do not. We you do. the Walmart pickup? Heck yeah. What did you order? My groceries. I can go in my kitchen. I can check my fridge and my cupboards and I can see what I need and I can make sure I don't forget anything and I can do it at midnight in the kitchen after everybody's in the sleep and then go in the morning and pick it up. Probably everybody's in the sleep. Everybody's in the sleep. Everybody's in the sleep. <laughs> <laughs> While Logan's asleep. <laughs> Wait, I don't. I've, I've never done this. How does this work? They got like a guy that just runs around the store to find what you wanted. Yeah. It's his whole job. Yeah. That's crazy. I know. I love it. It's the best thing ever. And on your first order or whenever you refer somebody, you get ten dollars. Ten dollars off. It's awesome. Have you seen, um, this is off topic, the What the Fluff Challenge with the dogs? No. It's where they have a dog and they hold a blanket up. Oh, yeah, where they, they hide. they drop it and they run. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. I watched a bunch of those, just like not even needing to. I'm like, why is this so cute? <laughs> Some of the dogs are like, what, what? I know. Oh, I almost I almost got a dog the other day. <laughs> really? It was so cute. It was at Walmart, and I don't even know if it was for sale or not. But I almost went up and asked them because they were just standing outside with the dog, you know. And there was a bunch of people over there looking at the dog, so you know. I told Jimmy I was like, I'm just gonna come home with the dog one day, even though I don't need to, and I don't want a dog, and we don't have a fence. We don't have a yard, and I have absolutely no idea how to train a dog. But they're just so damn cute. Yeah, dogs are great. No, no one doesn't like dogs. I used to have a dog. I almost got another one on Facebook. Uh, probably about a month and a half ago, they were for sale, and they were um, Mastiff puppies. And they were three fifty a piece. Don't Mastiffs get big as fuck? Yes. Like big dogs. Like huge. Like huge. Yes. That's too big. You can't get a dog like that. That's what I want. Negative. Yes. That's ridiculous. I want a huge, monstrous dog. That dog's going to get bigger than your child. That's the point. <laughs> Why? I want a dog that's bigger than me. <laughs> Why? Because I like them. I don't like the little, tiny, yappy, annoying dogs. You don't have to get the teeny, tiny one. No. You can get, you can I want get a, like a medium-sized no. golden retriever. That's no. perfect size. No. The last dog you had was a good size. Yeah. Yeah, but nope. So the Mastiff puppies were three fifty a piece, and normally they're like a thousand dollars a piece, and they were so cute. But Mastiffs eat like thirty pounds of food a week. <laughs> thirty pounds of food a week. Yeah, I looked it up. They're it, ridiculous, but they're so big. They get to like two hundred pounds, and I want one. I want a giant dog. I'm not even 200 pounds. Mm-hmm. I know. Why would you want a dog that big? That's too big. Because I want his face to be huge. Like Jack, 
Jack's face is like big and his mouth is big. I like that. Okay. I like their big fat head and their giant snout. Gigantic jowls. Yeah. Plus, I want to be able to lay on him. I used to do that when I was younger. My uh, stepmom had a dog, and his name is Rabies. And you named a dog Rabies? I didn't. She did. Why would you name a dog Rabies? I have no idea. That seems like the worst name. But that was that was his name, and I used to take naps on him because he was so big, and I would lay on him. And Bailey used to get mad when I laid on him. So me and Jimmy both agreed that we want a Great Dane. That is a gigantic dog. As well, Scooby Doo was a great day. I know. I'm gonna name him Scooby. How original? I'm not looking for originality points. Can I tell you an awful joke? Uh, that depends. Can I hit you for it? No. Then no. No, we're gonna do it anyways. All right, then I might hit you anyways. What's Jesus's favorite gun? A holy big one. A nail gun. Aww. <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> I hate when people write the word yes, like Y-A-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S. Because in my head, I can only read it like a faggot. Like, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love when they do that. <laughs> I hate when yes. they do that. Yes! I don't even know how they do it. That, that yes, I don't know. I can't do it. The, but the yes girl, you know, and they write it like that, and it's like the... I hate that. It's so funny. If you work for PETA, can you play Pokemon? Sure. No, you can't. Pokemon's imaginary. Yeah, but they're supposed to... Uh, Promote animals not being pets are used in battle, so there's no way they can play Pokemon. That goes against everything they're stand for. It's a game. It's make believe. Negative. You gotta commit. Positive. Gotta commit. First murder. Can't play Pokemon if you're in PETA. We almost got a fox too. What does the fox say? I don't know. You almost got a fox. Yeah. Jimmy wants a fox. Okay. He's weird. I'd be okay with Fox. I want a pig. <laughs> I, um, <laughs> when I was in the Marine Corps, uh, there was this couple that went out and got a pot belly pig to live with them. Mm -hmm. And this thing made awful, awful noises. Pigs will shriek, and it's not good. I want a miniature pot belly pig. That's exactly what they had. That's so cute. This thing could shriek like a motherfucker, and it was horrible. Oh. I remember we actually ended up losing it, and then we had to go on a mission to walk around the neighborhood to <laughs> find it. There was a... Um, oh, my God. The other part is... Uh, we went to get it. It was in... I can't think of the name of the place in California. Big desert place. It wasn't Joshua Tree. It was further away. Anyways, when we got there, I remember there was the biggest fucking pig ever laying in this girl's doorway. It's gigantic. But we, yeah. we obviously got the baby newborn. And this thing was, oh, it's just horrible. The noises it Well, made. if it was gigantic, then it wasn't a miniature. We didn't buy a gigantic one. We bought the tiny one. And I don't there know. There was a baby. It was going to get big. I don't know if that was the actual mother. Oh, okay. But I, got, I have no idea. All right. But I do know Bakersfield. That's where it was. And then on our way home, we got pulled over by a cop. This is four Marines in a car in with a Bakersfield. Pig. <laughs> with a pig. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you see understand the picture I'm painting here? That's awesome. Speaking of sayings, what did the fox say? Do you know the rest of the quote from um, Curiosity Killed the Cat? No, I thought that was the whole thing. No. Curiosity Killed the Cat. Satisfaction brought him back. No, nah, I don't think that's right. 
Yeah, it is. Google it. Negative. Hey, did you see, uh, this probably happened a month ago, but Trump went to Europe and there was a bunch of trans, gay, LGBTQRST, LMNOPQRS people. Okay. And they had like a whole rally thing and they had themselves a giant baby Trump balloon. Did you see that? I did. It even had like a diaper and the hair and he had a little cell phone so mm-hmm. he could tweet. It was great. It's totally great. I heard Trump said it made him feel unwelcome. That's sad. That's an understatement. Poor guy. <laughs> On the other hand, without immigration, Trump wouldn't have any wives. He only has one wife. Yeah, one wife right now. That's not his first one. So? She's not from America. So? I'm just saying my state. Is she an illegal citizen? No. Okay, then it doesn't matter. With, but without, That's what he's fighting against, is illegal. Just saying, without immigration, Trump wouldn't have any wives. He's not against immigration if they're coming in legally is and this properly. Even, this is probably maybe even the first time that the first lady has been an immigrant. Is it? Someone fact check me here. I have no idea. You can fact check yourself. Do you remember, um, this is an old story, there was a gay couple that was denied a wedding cake? Yes, I remember place. that. From a certain place. They made it, they turned it into a big deal? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were looking for a fight. Who does that? Who spends that much money to go after a single bakery? They were, they were assholes. I'm all for gay marriage. And I think it was doing the principle. What they want. But why would you spend that much time into a bakery just because they wouldn't want to make you a cake? There's thousands of bakeries. It's the principle. These of people it. were looking for attention. It's the principle of it. Alright, well, we're at about an hour yeah, and still right. So my point is that every place just like casinos and one can kick you out. Uh, they have places that provide a service have the right to deny anyone regardless of the reason. But they didn't say, I'm not making you a cake because I don't want to or regardless of the reason. It was, I'm not making you a cake because you're gay and I don't agree with that. Yeah, but we don't have the whole story. They're probably rude assholes about it. They probably were. The baker. The gay couple? The baker. Whatever. I don't care what the reason is. Everybody's going to get offended when you refuse in service because of something that they are. Right? If you walked in somewhere and said, can I get a cappuccino and... The guy at the counter said, no, because you have tattoos, and I'm against dis- decrescent. What's that word? I don't know, but I understand uh, but what you're I'm, saying. I'm against your tattoos or your beard, and I, I would, don't like you, and would, you need to get out, and I, you need to leave. I would be dumbfounded. I would be like, what? I, I, what? <laughs> uh-huh. This has never happened to me before. Strange but imagine danger. people telling you that all the time. I would be confused. They weren't told that all the time. There was know? one place. How do you know? And they locked Maybe onto it. Maybe that was it the one place that was the final deal. straw. Maybe that one place. No, was it the wasn't final the one place. If it was the one place's final draw, pretty sure it would have been in the article that they went to multiple places. They did not. They went to the one place they knew they were going to be denied. I'm not talking about just bakeries, though. I'm talking about everybody their entire life that told them know, this just, is wrong just, and you can't be gay and I'm not serving you. I was just talking about this one specific. I, I know, but it's not just one specific. All right. I I think we're at that, that point. We made it to that hour. And that's pretty amazing. It was actually. nice and quick, though. Was it quick? I feel like it. It didn't feel too forced. I mean, I had a lot of stuff written down. And, uh... Yeah. Thanks for doing this with me, Sam. You're welcome. And this was the Blurk Sick Podcast. And you have a wonderful night. And you go do it feels right. 
I love all of you. Peace the fuck out.